Tonight, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the Trident Seafoods, the ultimate fish sticks. This is wild Alaskan Pollock, crispy breaded fish sticks, a kid favorite that's too tasty to outgrow. Uh, they're made with panko breading. These were $11.99 for the whole bag at Costco. It is a four pound bag, so that's why it was a little bit more expensive. And I want to thank Kay Richardson for recommending these to us. Uh, because I didn't know that they were um, at Costco. It says uh, made from whole fillets, more fish, less breading, 160 calories per serving, 120 milligrams omega-3 per serving. Uh, they're in a resellable bag. And uh, look, I just, I literally barely, let me, uh, let me get some scissors because I don't want to, I don't want to mess this up and then not be able to resell them because I want to be able to resell them and put them back in the freezer. Well, I'll talk to you about calories. Um, let's see. It says, uh, let's talk about cooking instructions. Uh, you keep frozen and then you, in the conventional oven, which is what we're using, you preheat the oven to 475, place frozen fish sticks on lightly greased baking sheet, cook for 11 to 13 minutes until crisp, turn product halfway through the bake time for best results. You can microwave them, you can put them in the deep fryer, but we, um, I don't even have to uh, spray this because this is a non-stick Reynolds wrap. Three pieces are 160 calories. So now I'm gonna show you how they look. So they are square. And somebody from the United Kingdom had asked me what American fish sticks look like. And this is a pretty good representation of what American fish sticks look like. Uh, so I'm gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm going to get nine of these and put them in here. And let's see if there's anything else you need to know. There are 20 servings in the bag. So that's important. So I'm going to get these in. I'm going to flip them halfway through the cooking time. And then we'll be back. Okay, these are out. And they look like regular fish sticks. But we did leave them in longer. Yeah, I put them in for six at first. Flipped them over, they were very, very floppy and soggy. So I put them, make sure I put them in there seven once I flipped them over. They were still kind of wet and soggy. So I put them in there for another four whole minutes. So what is that, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17 minutes altogether? And they, they could have stayed even longer. And they could have stayed even longer. And 475 is pretty hot. Yeah, I would have thought that, so, that they would have. Uh, been almost burned at that point, but they weren't. They really, they could have stayed longer. Probably. Really. And deep frying is probably the best way to do them, but that they involve a little bit more. I like the flavor of that. Yeah, you, you get a good texture of that fish, the, and they're not real fishy. Mm -mm. No, I really like the flavor of that. Which could be a bad thing. I like. A little bit of a fishy fish stick. Not like really fishy, but I do like to be able to taste, tell that it's fish. Right. These you really, you can just barely tell that they're fish in a fish stick, but you taste more breading than the actual yeah, fish Yeah, I itself. like it a lot though, but you know, normally we buy the Gorton's brand and those are very, um, they, they're they very bready. Uh, the bread is thick. Yeah. Uh, we, there's another brand that we, maybe Bandicamps or something like that. Yeah. So, I really, I like these. I think this is good. Now, I'm going to try it with some ketchup because I eat my fish sticks with ketchup. The side. So. I don't know if I've ever had ketchup on a fish stick. Oh. I love ketchup with fish stick. To me, that's the way to eat them. Okay, all it tastes is breading and ketchup. I like them by themselves. Mm, I, I, like, I like vinegar um, with mine. So I'll probably eat mine with vinegar. These are good, they're not bad, but but I think um, I've had better. We <laughs> have been, the reason that Kay Richardson suggested these is because we've been doing a lot of reviews of the Young's Seafood and it's made in the United Kingdom and shipped over. And so um, that is why uh, that person suggested that we try these. I do like this, I think it's very good. It's not as good as the Young's. If you can find the uh, Young's Haddock or Cod, I highly recommend getting that. 
but this is very good and I think it's a good value it's good. for the amount that you get for the money. I, I think I like, like you said, I think I like the Young's uh, filets better. And there's a, there's a Gort, Gordon's, 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 Gordon's. Um, crispy, like uh, battered or breaded fish. I like, I think I like that even a little bit better than this, but. Mm -hmm. Um, because it's good. crispier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It has more of a fish flavor. Yeah. But I do like this. That's it. I, th I still think this is yeah. good. So, uh, if you're in Costco, if you want to try the Trident Seafood, I think it's nice fish. I think, I think your kids will like it too. Mm -hmm. So, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.